Okay, first year, so what you will need is you will need the object that you're going to be drawing for this exercise, somewhere that you can see it. Okay, um, I've obviously chosen a violin and it is best to do this with an everyday object, so whether it's a glass or a tin of something or a musical instrument would be really nice as well because it's got interesting shapes and line. So I've started doing the outline for you, so we're focusing just on the contour lines to begin with. And I'm going to go over that in pen just so that it's a little bit clearer. And then from then I'm going to do a bit of overlapping, playing about with scale and size. Okay, so start off first of all just doing a nice contour drawn straight in the middle of your A4 piece of paper. So I'm just going to help stand this out a little bit more. So when you're doing the contour drawing, you are looking to get the basic shape, but there might be some details that you decide not to include. If anything's too complicated, if you've got a bottle, for instance, and there's writing on it, you might want to keep it just as the label and not include the writing. Okay, we're trying to keep this quite simple and keep your planes, your lines, sorry, quite plain. Okay, so I am going to use a variation of pens from sort of thicker ones to thin ones and even a sort of ballpoint pen might be good for the details. So when it comes to adding the strings, I think I'm going to go for a thinner sort of pen. Okay. And I'll just add in a little bit more of this top section here. Now remember this is an observational drawing that you're doing so you do want to be looking at your object every couple of seconds, checking for accuracy, checking for scale, making sure everything's in proportion and that you're good to go. Okay, so once I am happy with just my initial contour drawing, that's when I'm going to start overlapping the shapes and maybe just, this is when you don't need to draw the full violin or your full object again. You can just take sections of it that you quite like. Okay, so I'm going to start off actually just by doing a sort of zoomed in version. So a sort of bigger version than this. I'm going to come right down. and sort of come out like so, so it's really big, really sort of dramatic sort of size and scale there. Okay, and I might decide to do the same on this sort of side, on the left hand side. Okay, so it's just zooming in, playing about with scale, playing about with shapes and so on. So again, I might decide I'm going to repeat some of these lines. Now I've got a ruler, a very industrial looking ruler, but you don't have to use a ruler for this. Um, it's only because I've got quite straight lines where I want to use a ruler. For this. And I am actually might add in the sort of wee circular parts for that as well that might be quite interesting okay then i'm going to go and add some more shapes that i like and so on so once you have filled up and you're quite happy with everything that you're doing you're and you're overlapping that's when you're going to get the chance to maybe make some lines a little bit bolder you might want to do a sort of dot technique 
um, and, and just play about with adding in your sort of dot technique or cross hatching perhaps when you're sort of doing a crossover style okay so there's certain areas that I'm going to make a wee bit bolder so I'm going to swap over pen and then once I'm happy with that I'm going to maybe add that sort of dot technique that I was talking about here I then might decide that I want to take a little section and make it a wee bit bolder with my lines and again I'm going to add bold and I might add a little bit of pattern to that I might add this sort of line technique Okay, and then I think I'll go back and I'll add some areas that are a bit more bold. But the key focus is that you are overlapping your object. You're maybe making one section much bigger. You're repeating your shapes. So again, you can look to, I've done the strings here. Maybe I'll go back and I'll do the strings over here, making it quite interesting. And the main part of it, obviously, is that we're looking at cubism today.